Let's wrap up our discussion of stats called from within geomes by looking at two more useful functions, geom count and geom quantile. In the first course, we saw that overplotting is always a concern whenever we use geom point. Every data point must be visible. We discussed four ways in which our visualizations may mislead us. We can now add a new geom function to our solutions for low precision and integer data. Geom count plots the count at each location. In course three, we'll see even more elegant solutions that can be applied to all four situations. Let's look at an example with geom count. In the iris data set where we have low precision data, jittering gives the impression that we have more precision than we actually do. We should always mention that we've jittered our data because of this. To avoid this problem, we can use another variant of geom point. Geom count counts the number of observations at each location and then maps the count onto size as the point area. Our data is mapped onto the area of the circle as opposed to its radius since we more intuitively perceive area than radius. Remember that these geoms are associated with stats functions that can be called directly as shown here. Calling the stats function gives the exact same plot. We'll see this trick used with integer data in the exercises, which is a very common use. But be careful here, you'll still encounter overplotting if the points are colored according to another variable. This makes it particularly difficult to read the plot. The last function I want to look at in this section is geom quantile. It's another great tool for describing our data. This method allows us to model quantiles, which are robust, as opposed to linear models, which model the non-robust mean. We can choose any quantile we're interested in, such as the median, which is just the second quantile. A typical case of using quantile regression would be when you have heteroscedasticity. That is, the variance across a predicted variable is not consistent, in which case linear models may not be valid. Here's an example of heteroscedasticity from a data set of economics journals from the AER package. We won't get into the details of the data, but you can see that variance on the y-axis is not consistent as we move along the x-axis. Here, we can use geom quantile to model the 5th and the 95th percentile, as well as the median, the 50th percentile. Just like the previous geoms, this is also associated with the stats function that we can actually call directly. Let's take these functions for a spin.